The Goku HM600 VTX transmits on 40 channels. In the US, 11 of those channels require an amateur radio license to use. And three channels are actually outside of the authorized public frequency, so they can't be used at all. On my 4-inch FlyWoo Explorer, the 11 ham channels came locked. If you try to select any of those frequencies, either on the Smart Audio or in Betaflight, the OSD would show that you were transmitting on the selected frequency, but you actually were not. You were actually transmitting on the last unlocked frequency that you were using. Curiously, the uh, VTX that came with my Flywoo would actually allow me to transmit on the three frequencies that were supposed to be available only on special request. Now if you look at the frequency table you can see this is a real problem if everyone's using the race band because there are only three channels in the race band that do not require a ham license. Now I happen to have a ham license so I should be able to use any of the ham frequencies process to unlock the VTX is actually quite easy. You plug in the battery, you push and hold the button on the VTX until the red light and the yellow light come on. Oh, by the way, that'll take about 10 seconds or more. And then you release the button, and once you release the button, unplug the battery. When it's plugged back in, the ham channels will be unlocked and available to use. Now I provide this information for the other pilots that happen to have amateur radio licenses. For everyone else in the U.S., don't use those frequencies. I want to tell you get your amateur radio license. It's real easy to do and I think you'll find it an interesting hobby anyway. Now as a follow-up on this uh, closing, if for some reason you happen to want to relock the VTX, you just go and do the same procedure over again. So hopefully this will help some who've had a problem unlocking their VTX.